So what happens with exertional heat stroke, it's unique with the human body is that we actually can tolerate about 30 minutes over 105 degrees without any long-term complications. 30 to 60 minute window, very likely to be long-term complications and possibly death. What happens in that time, there's generally six parts of your body that we see most affected. One is your heart, cardiac tissues get damaged and some people have a cardiac arrest. Second is brain function. We might see cognitive dysfunction, lower IQ, less patience, more combative. Another issue is very common is kidney issues. So people who survive, they'll have often kidney dialysis for the rest of their life or kidney transplants. Liver is another problem. A lot of people have liver transplants following a heat stroke. Another one is thermoregulatory issues. They heat up much faster than they did previously and they can't handle the same work than the heat anymore. And the last one is muscular function. So there's a condition called rhabdomyolysis, which is something where the muscle becomes damaged. What's super interesting with exertional heat stroke is it affects everyone differently. And it happens in a direct relationship to the number of minutes that you're hyperthermic. That's why all treatment related to exertional heat stroke is focused on lowering the person's body temperature as fast as humanly possible. And cold water immersion is the gold standard. We recently published a study of 274 heat stroke victims. Their average time in a tub, a cold water immersion tub, was about 20 minutes. So they can come down super fast and we keep them under that 30 minute threshold. We had 100% survivability with those 274 exertional heat stroke victims.